Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, in this little tutorial, we're just going to compare the differences between a true online Centurion UPS and a Line Interactive Defender UPS. Okay, so what we're looking at at the moment in this screen is the Centurion True Online Double Conversion UPS. And essentially what happens is the power comes in from the utility wall socket, goes through a rectifier that converts the AC to DC to charge the battery, and then through an inverter that converts the DC back to an AC, pure sine wave at 50 hertz, 240 volts to protect your very valuable equipment. So once again, this is a true online Centurion UPS. The power comes in and goes through the UPS, and it's always a very clean sine wave at 240 volts RMS, irrespective of what's coming in from the wall socket. That's the true online device. Now, I've also got in the background another UPS I'm monitoring on our network with NetGuard. And in that particular one is a Defender Line Interactive device. And if you notice the difference, I'll just flick between the two screens. So that's Line Interactive, True Online, Line Interactive, True Online. Now, the difference is, is that in True Online, the power goes through the UPS. And it does not go through this arm, which in a true online UPS, this diagram will be depicted as a bypass or a static bypass uh, path. But in our line interactive devices, such as defenders and safeguards, the power actually flows through this arm. But if you look carefully, it, it's not denoted as bypass. It's, it's denoted as the line mode. And essentially what happens is the power comes in from the wall socket, goes through this branch, and then back out. Now, what's actually happening in this simplified drawing, uh, as compared to what's really there, is that there is some fancy electronics in here which will vo voltage regulate this input voltage to an acceptable voltage within a window that's considered to be safe for your valuable equipment. Okay. Um, similarities to the true online in this device, even though this one's a line interactive is the fact that you come in from the AC, you do have a rectifier that converts to DC for charging the battery, but the power that feeds the load goes through this arm, through a transformer and some fancy electronics that controls the transformer, and then out. So that's line interactive versus true online double conversion. True online means it goes through, double conversion means it, it converts by rectification from AC to DC, and then the reverse of that, which is from DC to AC and out. So that is the two different topologies that PowerShell promotes.